Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for June 2018. You know, typically my readings are love readings, so just, you know, it is what it is. Keep in mind that I do not adjust my tone to uh, make anybody's ears sing, okay? I am myself, I don't, I'm not fake, I'm not going to be somebody I'm not. So if you have a sensitive hearing, you may want to, you may not want to watch this. Um, I tell it like it is, okay? This is for the sign of Leo for the month of June. Dear spirit, angels, God and universe. What does Leo need to know for the month of June? You know, the storm is over. Okay, the storm is over. So, you know, just wanted to let you know that the worst part of a situation is over. You should be starting to feel relief. You know, you're coming out of a period of darkness. So congratulations. It's like the, you're taking the next step, even if you don't know it, you're, you're going in a different direction. Okay, you're bringing balance back to your life. It's like balance is going to be restored, but you're still juggling something. <laughs> it's like maybe you're trying to find the balance. Okay, you've had a lot of, a lot of ups and downs. You have. But I think you're grateful for those ups and downs, Leo. That's what's going on. You guys are grateful. You know, you're feeling very happy. You're, you're having fun. You know, and there may have been a time of bitterness. There may have been a time of resentment. Now, I'm not could be yours or another person. There, you could, I mean, I'm going to change this up as I always do. But there is a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that could be in the picture that may have been jealous of you or they may have caused some problems for you. There could have been a third party situation. There could have been. And it could have left you independent. This is for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits and pieces will resonate with you. And then another bits and pieces will resonate with another another Leo. Okay? Keep in mind that this can go vice versa too. This could be, this is for Leo moon, uh, sun, and rising, and Venus. But, um... This could also be the person you're dealing with. You're just going to have to use your intuition as to how this reading resonates with you. Either way, you're coming out of a period of darkness and you're bringing some balance back to your life after a time of chaos. This chaos could have involved a third party situation, could have. And third party situations don't always mean sex. That could be another per three's a crowd. Three's a crowd doesn't mean sex at all times. It means that this person has meddled in your life in some way. Okay? I do believe that you have been dealing with a meddler. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And, you know, maybe you have decided that you don't need to be a part of this. You just want to be alone. I have what it takes to take care of myself. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is an independent person, independent woman, uh, widow, divorcee, um, single woman. Somebody that takes care of themselves very, very well, enjoys the finer things in life, and is abundant and is happy with where they're at. They're single and they love it, okay? This could also be you finally being grateful for the lessons that you have, whatever's happened, whatever loss. There has been some sort of loss or emotional upset that caused some chaos, and now it's like you're, I think that you're, you understand why it happened and you're grateful for whatever it was, even if, you know, it wasn't easy to deal with, put it that way. It wasn't easy to deal with. So I'm going to start this over. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do you have for Leo for this month of June 2018? You know, you've, there, you've been dealing with a situation or a person that is really mean, mean-spirited. Uh, 
and it's left you very unstable and insecure. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's somebody could have moved out of your home. Now, there could be a change in your residence. There's been some family feuds, put it that way. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed as there has been some family feuds and some chaos. Maybe even some financial stress. You know, there's been some financial losses. Maybe a person, this person caused you financial loss. They saw what you had to offer. You're fine either way. You're absolutely fine. Seven of cups. Eight of coins. Six of swords. Moving on. You guys are going through a transition. I think that you guys are leaving a third party situation. And like I said, keep in mind, it may not be sexual. You've put in a lot of effort. You've worked hard for all that you have. And it feels like, you know, that you've made, may, you may have some options here. You may have uh, made a, a, a wrong decision. Okay? The Seven of Cups is, is choose wisely because what you own owns you. This is a card of decisions and choices. Be careful not to let faults illusions and false beginnings snag you i feel like there has been a lie here there's been some sort of illusion somebody could somebody filled you up that's what this is what this card is brought chaos to your life and and caused you some financial losses as well as emotional caused financial and emotional loss But with that nine of nine of pentacles right there, you guys are still doing fine. You're still very accomplished. You are. I think that you guys are trans transitioning away from a deceptive, mean spirited indi individual. You are. It's like you're removing yourself from that situation. And you probably feel really happy about this. You're happy about this moving on. This is the card of moving on. Yeah, you're releasing. Something is being released. Okay. You've been lied to and the truth has come out. God damn it. Excuse my language. The Seven of Swords reversed. There's a lying sneak here. And they have been caught, or they are about to be caught. The truth is, somebody's going to get caught. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't change this shit. I wish that I could. And I feel like somebody is no longer going to resist the truth. Uh, they're not, you know... Uh, Hold on, let me get the rest of these cards and I'm going to zoom it in for you. You guys are absolutely moving on from a situation. You are walking away. You're walking away. Oh. Or they're walking away from you, okay? Because it can go both ways. This is for Leo for the month of June. Somebody is moving on from a deceptive situation. Oh my goodness, okay? Chariot, moving on. Forward movement. Getting out of here. I'm getting out of here right now. This is the breakup card. A breakup card. I am leaving and I am not looking back. This is, as far as I'm concerned, there's two breakup cards. There's more than two, but two, two good ones. Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You have them both. Somebody is leaving a situation. They've decided to... Head on out of here. And we're going up this line. You see how these were? Okay, this was, it was like this. I'm going up this line. Okay, somebody has decided to move on. I'm not looking back. I'm, remove, I'm removing myself from this emotional disappointment. There has been emotional disappointment. And it looks like you are finding the mental strength, Leo. They got caught. The Seven of Swords reverse is they got caught or they are going to get caught. The truth is going to come out. No shit. 
and you're going to move on. The Six of Swords is moving on, moving away from this situation. Could have been a third party situation. <laughs> the Three of Cups. I mean, I can't change this stuff. <sighs> Three way. I'm going to put them back just as they were. I mean, this lineup right here, I mean, it, come on now. Somebody is finding their mental strength to remove an emotion, to remove themselves from an emotionally draining, disappointment, disappointing situation where they were lied to. The truth has come out. The lies have been exposed with the Seven of Swords reversed. And that is the truth. In regards to, I think, a third party situation. And I feel like now you have decided to release. This is the end of the difficulty. Somebody moving out, letting go. <laughs> Taking a step back to focus on the reality of this situation so that you can move on. Son of a bitch. So I do apologize, but... but Somebody is no longer wanting to hold on to this illusion. This is letting go of the obsession. That's what it is. Letting go of the obsession. This is the illusion. I am no longer in confusion. I am no longer going to hold on to the obsession and the confusion. I would rather be single. And I think you thought long and hard about this. You did. And I think that whatever has happened may have made you a little bit bitter. And that's okay. It's okay. It's a normal emotion, bitterness. So I feel like there's been some chaos in your life, Leo. And you're leaving it behind. Interesting. We're just going to get a few more of these. I mean, this reading is pretty well spelled out. Yeah, there's been too many conflicts. There has. You, you were being manipulated and controlled by a master. The emperor reversed. A master manipulator. And that feels like now you're about to sever the ties. And you don't even care for if it, who it hurts at this point. I need to sever these ties. I can't live in conflict anymore. I just want to be happy. And I see that you, Leo, I see that moving on, moving on will make you happy. Oh my goodness. Somebody has found the, their integrity, their, their moral backbone to do the right thing. <laughs> and they have decided to stop moving forward. They've started to stop moving forward with... There's no more forward movement. Somebody has left. There's no more. No more. Now, I don't know who with. It could be anybody. Somebody has decided to stop moving forward with another person. That's what's happened. There's, it's done. There's no. Seriously. The Knight of Swords upright is very fast movement. And this is fast movement too. There's no more movement in this direction. I think that you have let go of something or you're about to or somebody's going to let go of you. So, Leo, this can go either way. Either somebody is going to walk away from you or you are going to walk away from them. That is what I see. I see this is a card of severing ties. And fives are about changes, major life changes. You may feel like you've been defeated. But once you let go of this situation that 
somebody has basically really hurt you emotionally and financially once you let it go you're going to feel happy you're going to feel relief you are you are going to find happiness within yourself within yourself I feel like many of you are deciding or the other person somebody is going to end up taking care of themselves in this situation on their own but happy with that relief so I feel like there's some there's one one situation in your life that is being closed it's be ending it's done and there's no more forward movement you're moving on you're moving out of a situation you're releasing you're letting go and I think it's a third party situation where some truth came out you had been lied to and the truth has come out anyway that's what I see their truth some kind of lie is going to be revealed and that is no that is no lie okay the Seven of Swords reversed. Feel free to look it up. A lie is about to be revealed. Whether it has been already or it's going to be. This lie is going to bring chaos. It is going to bring change. It is, somebody could end up moving out. It's going to cause some fights. It may cause somebody to release and completely walk away and leave somebody on their own. Just saying. Not the kind of message I want to give, but where's the love in these cards? My readings are love readings. We all know that. And you guys can try to make it into whatever you want, but that is denial. There is no Ace of Cups. There is no Two of Cups. There is no Ten of Cups. There is no Four of Wands. There is no Lover's Card. This is a love reading. Somebody is leaving a situation where there is no love. There's no love. If you are single, I feel like you still have some healing to do. Somebody is, is needs to transition out of this, whatever it is. There is a transition from one phase to another. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. And you are. I know you are. Leo is probably one of the, probably, if not number one, as far as giving goes. The biggest givers that I know. And sometimes people take advantage of that. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. You deserve to receive. And if you are dealing with a situation in which you are not receiving, Financial support, emotional support, love and care, then you aren't receiving. I think you're being manipulated and controlled, as this card would suggest. But I feel like you guys have found the mental strength to let go of this situation in June. Or they are letting go. Somebody is letting go. This will not resonate with every single person. Keep that in mind. I hope it doesn't resonate with anybody. But I think it's going to. And I am deeply saddened to give you this message. Talk to you later.